Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Sweet Tips here. Here's our gold bar that we refined using zinc. I've got 64.5 grams. Multiply that by 3. And I need 193 grams of sterling silver to encourse this gold. So what we're going to do is I've got 192.8 of sterling silver and we can use that to encourt this gold then we're going to try an experiment I'm going to use 1.3 milliliters of nitric acid per gram of sterling silver to completely dissolve all of the sterling silver out in one continuous long nitric acid boil instead of doing multiple nitric acid boils so I'm going to need 251 milliliters of nitric acid to do that let's go out and quart this gold Here's the encorded gold. Now to start this experiment off, what we'll do, measuring that, I'm gonna use 300 milliliters of distilled water. Distilled water. 
Now I'll pour in another 300 milliliters of nitric acid. I went a little bit over on that, that's okay. And now the theory is, or the suggestion is, that this single charge of nitric acid will pull all the silver and base metals out of this encoded gold with one single nitric acid boil rather than having to do multiple nitric acid boils. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna add this dilute nitric acid to our encoded gold take off immediately and then what we'll do is we'll set this up on the heat and let this charge of nitric acid go completely until all of the silver and all of the base metals have dissolved I started this reaction at 7:30 a.m. I set up the time-lapse camera and I forgot to turn it on and I went and started doing something else and didn't check on this till about the last half hour of the four hour and 15 minute reaction here. So I only got the last 30 minutes of it recorded. It's been on for four hours and 15 minutes boiling in that single charge of nitric. This has been on boiling for what, about four hours? Three, nine, three, ten, three, yeah, about four hours. And so in theory, we should have every bit of the silver dissolved from the encoded gold now. Let's take a look at this and see what we got. I've got a temporary silver jar here in this beaker. So what we'll do is we'll pour this solution off it's gonna have silver in it. We'll pour it off into this silver jar. Look at our gold down in the bottom of this beaker. Let's see what we got. If you look down in there, you can see the highly concentrated silver nitrate crystallizing out on that hot glass and if you look at the silver down at the bottom or the uh, quartered gold based on my experience it looks like there's still plenty of silver that needs to be dissolved out of that encoded gold let me rinse the rest of the silver out of here Gold looks pretty good. It looks real good down in that beaker. Now we're gonna add some more distilled water. The question is, did that 300 milliliters of nitric acid pull all the silver and the base metals out of here in one long nitric acid boil or do we still have some left in there I'm gonna add a little bit more nitric acid to this now and we're gonna do a, uh, a separate small dose nitric acid boil and see what kind of result we get here I still see some blue color in here. And that tells me that there's still uh, at least some copper left in there. Let's put it up here and do a uh, separate nitric acid boil. 
If all the silver and all the copper is gone, then we should see no fume production and no color coming out in that solution. All right, we, we've still got some copper being pulled here as evidenced by the blue color in our solution. So if we're still pulling copper, chances are high that we're still pulling silver as well. And this is all I have to go by. It's the color of the liquid during these nitric boils. So it's uh, based on my refining a thousand ounces of gold probably over the last 12 years. I'm gonna do one more nitric acid boil just to make sure we've got all the silver and copper pulled out of here. We can tell when that's happened, when this boil stays colorless. Now we can tell that all the silver and all the copper has been pulled out of here because the solution is colorless. So we're gonna pour this off now. I do wanna save this nitric acid. So I'm gonna pour it off into a used nitric acid jar so we can reuse it in a future refining. And I just wanna say that was a success doing a large nitric boil like that. Got most of the silver and base metals pulled out in one long process rather than many small processes. So I'd have to call that a success. Now what we wanna do is rinse this off real good. I'll add this rinse water to my silver jar back here. That gold looks, let me show it to you, man. It really looks really good down in there because we started with pure gold almost. So it looks beautiful. I'm putting the gold up on my hot plate. I've got some hydrochloric acid. And what I'll do is add about 300 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to the gold. Next, I'll shoot in a few drops of sulfuric acid to take care of any lead that may be present in the gold. Just a few drops. Next, we'll add nitric acid. I'm gonna add seven three milliliter doses of nitric acid to form aqua regia in the beaker and dissolve our gold. Next, we'll add some heat and put our gold in solution. Okay, we've got this evaporated down to a syrup. It's almost black. I'm gonna pull it down off the heat now and set it over here out of the way. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit before we proceed any further with it. It's got me freaked out a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, what we're gonna do now is I've got some hydrochloric acid in this beaker. We're gonna add some hydrochloric acid to this evaporated gold solution a little bit at a time. Hydrating this with hydrochloric acid. I think I've got it cooled off to where I can just go ahead and pour this in now. Let me add the hydrochloric acid in here, get this rehydrated before we do something and get in trouble. That looks much better. That looks familiar. And I'm happy with that. That does have some sparklies going on in there. Not quite sure what that is. But it sure looks cool. Might be metallic gold. I don't know. A little bit of gold might have been forced out of solution. So those sparkly specks of uh, beauty there might be metallic gold. I've added some ice cool our solution while we're waiting for that to cool down what I'll do is prepare some uh, copperus here copperus is ferrous sulfate and we're going to use copperus then ferrous sulfate see that And the book calls for about a pound of copperus for every 50 penny weight. So we've got about uh, an ounce and a half here, a little about two ounces. So we're going to go with a pound of copperus. It should be about, well, we're going to go with 500 grams. That should do it for us. I got a little over 500 grams of copperus. Let's get set up to do this now. Distilled water. Let's go ahead and pull our copperus up here. Verisulfate. I'm gonna pour some into the water. I've added some heat to the water, start uh, heating it up. We're gonna start dissolving our ferrous sulfate in this water. get all this dissolved in here or not. I'm going to add it. There's 
It already looks pretty green, but the book says to add some hydrochloric acid to green it up. Put a little bit of hydrochloric acid in, maybe 100 milliliters or so. Let's go ahead and get our gold solution filtered. Our ferrous sulfate has pretty much dissolved most of it. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna, well, we'll just leave that on the heat for right now. Here you can see what's left down in the bottom of the beaker. Looks like some chunks of gold in there, maybe. Not much, just little bitty pieces of it. I think this is ready to go. Let me add another, just a slight dash of hydrochloric acid in here, just a little bit. And what we'll do is pull this down off the heat now. Set it back out of the way. And we'll get this heater out of, out of the picture. Make some room for us. Here we go, we're gonna start adding ferrous sulfate to the gold. We wanna filter it because it might have some trash in it, so I'm gonna pour it through a filter. We're gonna use ferrous sulfate to precipitate the pure gold. Got about half of the ferrous sulfate in there. So what we'll do now is I want to get in here and get a stannous test. So I'm going to 
pull this funnel off of here if I can. And we'll dip down in here. Let me shake this around a little bit. It's hard to tell when this stuff is complete because uh, ferrous sulfate looks just like gold in solution. Oh yeah, I can tell we've still got gold by the color. Well, that'll throw you off too. Ferrous sulfate in solution looks just like gold. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we still got a lot of gold to precipitate. Let me set my delivery rig back up over here. And we'll continue adding ferrous sulfate to the gold solution till we get it all to drop out of solution. I think we're done here. We reached out in here and get a little bit of the solution on here. No more stain. All the gold has been precipitated now. Let me get in here and stir this up. I get this thing washed off. I'm gonna stir this a little bit. See what we got going on down in here. Oh yeah, there's our gold. Looking pretty good. Let this settle out now. got the gold precipitated with ferrous sulfate in here. Now what we'll do is let this settle completely. Over here I'm going to dump the rest of the uh, ferrous sulfate solution into this filter and we'll collect the ferrous sulfate in this jar and then save it for a future refining. And I think what we're going to do right here is we're going to call this part one of the zinc precipitated gold bar re-refining. So this will conclude part one of that series and we'll pick back up with part two. Thanks for watching.